Hello, I am Sam, and uh, welcome to this video on how to register an Ethereum address on the Ethereum name service. So I am uh, going to register my uh, blog into the Chains website. I have a tip jar here, and I'm going to register this Ethereum address. So you may be wondering, what exactly is the Ethereum name service? And it is a distributed open an extensible naming system based on the Ethereum blockchain. So ENS eliminates the need to copy or type long addresses. So instead of having a address that looks like this, so I'm going to copy the tip jar address. So instead of having an address that looks like this, I can instead have end of the chain. Simply that, and it'll be dot ETH at the end. It'll be end of the chain dot ETH. It's a much easier way to uh, share your public address. Uh, so that way when you go to send funds through like MetaMask or whatever kind of uh, wallet you have, you can just type in end of the chain, end of the chain dot ETH and that. So it's not found on the ENA. So the ENS name is not found currently on the network. And so try switching to the main Ethereum network. Um, and so yeah, so I'm going to do that right now. So the uh, first thing to do is to make sure that you have enough Ethereum in your wallet. I have uh, about $50 here, about 0.287 at this point. And it costs around $5 a year to register the name. So once you have uh, some funds in a MetaMask wallet, I recommend MetaMask. You can get it at metamask.io. Uh, Brave also has it built into their browser. And then additionally, you can use Coinbase uh, or Status as well. So first things first is to search for the name. Well, first thing is to get MetaMask. The second thing is to come to Ethereum Name Service. And that website is app.ens.domains. Uh, I'll, I'll post it in the uh, show notes below that you can follow and find there. So once you come here, you can search for anything. It's like choosing a, uh, any kind of name that you want for your, uh, for your wallet. So I'm going to type in into the chain and I'm going to hit search. And it's going to show me the name and addresses uh, that I have typed in. So here we find end of the chain dot ETH and it says that it's available, okay? So what happens if I type in like Apple? Well, apple.eth is unavailable. If I click on it, I can see that the, this is the registrant, this is the controller, and they've, uh, they've bought it for a year. Um, and I'll go a little bit more into depth on what you can actually do once you have these addresses. It's pretty cool actually, but let's go back to end of the chain. Right, so end of the chain dot ETH. I, this is what it looks like when it's free, and I'm going to take uh, one year at the moment. And so I'm going to do one year, and I'm going to request to register. You're going to click on this blue button down here. So when it requests to register, let me drag MetaMask into the thing. It will bring up MetaMask. Uh, there will be a transaction that's loaded uh, just to request and to uh, register my name on ENS. So I'm going to hit confirm. So here we are. I've done step one where it's a request to register. Uh, that is going out. First I did a, a commit. Uh, I had one transaction that went. You have to do a second transaction after another minute. All right, so the, the transaction is actually going out. It's uh, pending. And you can actually track the transaction on Etherscan. You can pull it up and you can see that it should commit in around 55 seconds is when it should be validated and brought into the next block. All right, so after the first few steps are done, I'm gonna do the last step just to finalize everything. Uh, another uh, transaction, which will be fired off. And after that, end of the chain.eth will be mine and the uh, Ethereum name service registration will be finished. So. This should just take uh, another few seconds 
and then we'll come back. All right, so now that everything's done, I can uh, I want to go back to the Ethereum naming service, and one of the cool things that they have is they have short name auctions. Uh, so you can come to OpenSea.io uh, slash ENS, and here you can look up auctions on all of the uh, all of the ETH addresses. So it's almost like a token that you can pass back and forth with, between people. Uh, let's see what some of the more popular ones at the moment are. Uh, so this is a place to trade tokens and other NFTs. Here, let's see, let's go to recently sold or highest last sale. Um, so Amazon.eth sold for 100, Wallet.eth was sold for 75, uh, DAP, Loan, Jobs.eth, DeFi.eth, uh, Coffee.eth. So there's a bunch of different small things here, <clears throat> small names here that you can that you can auction and purchase. Like Fund.eth. Here's a bundled one for 100,000 ETH that someone's looking for. So you can come here. You can buy now or make an offer. <clears throat> so anyways, this is a interesting place where you can come and uh, bid for uh, whatever names you want. Let's see if they have my name for sale, Samuel Heath. Uh, oh, three to six characters and letters. Top level domains, unavailable. Ah, somebody's already registered it. Well, that's it. Uh, it's going to wrap it up for how to register a ENS address. Uh, I'm Sam, and I'll see you again soon.